I'm going to do a little painting focusing on the surface of the water. And it's coming up for Christmas, so I'm going to put some nice Christmas sparkles on it. And we're going to have a, an online auction and, and donate it to a local charity. So what I've done here is I've, I've blocked in all of my darker areas. Now normally I would just paint the whole canvas in one go, but I thought I'd try something a bit different. Um, and pretty much what I've used is a little bit of burnt umber, some ultramarine, and some phthalo blue and a little bit of white. done here is I've just roughly blocked in some colour. But when light filters through water you get sort of little patches of turquoise and all sorts of things. So I'm just going to go through now and put flashes of that. That would be suggesting that the water is sitting over the sand and that there's the refraction of light going through the water. So I'm just going to work a little bit of that refraction through there a little bit more now just to brighten it up a little bit, give it another dimension. So what I'm doing now is just starting to build up the highlights on the surface of the wave. And I'll probably put some highlights on and then discover that it needs a little bit more refraction. So a little more refraction over the top and then more highlights and more refraction. And all of that process will create the illusion of clarity and, and dimension. So what I'm going to do now is just finish off putting some highlights on the surface of the water. But I want it to look a little, a little bit more luster and a little bit bright. So I'm going to put a glaze over the top of it. I'm going to get some Atelier glazing medium. I'm going to add a little bit of phthalo blue to that and put a thin wash right over the top. So I've just laid my painting down here and I'm just going to put a glaze over it. I find it a lot easier to do a glaze when it's lying flat. You don't have to worry about runs and dribbles and things. So here we go. So basically this is just very, very, very thin paint in glazing medium. My high-tech paint and drying device. I know it's a bit cheesy, but it's Christmas time, so we've got to put sparkles in. So I'm going nuts with the sparkles. I haven't gone into a lot of detail here about the surface of the water, but uh, you can find out a lot more about that on my DVDs, Water Fundamentals. But really what I've done here is shape the surface of the water and created the illusion of high spots and depressions. Think mirrors, the back of the wave, and windows, the front of a wave. 